हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लास्ट क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस ऑन कन्वर्सन टाइप क्वेश्चन फॉर एलिफेटिक एमेंट्स हियर आइडेंटिफाई ए बी सी डी इन द फॉलोइंग दिस इज द कन्वर्सन टाइप क्वेश्चन एंड नाउ वी विल डिस्कस सेम सम ए बी सी डी टाइप क्वेश्चन फॉर एरोमेटिक ग्रुप्स ओके सो सेम टाइप यू हैव टू आल्सो रिमेंबर व्हाट आर द प्रिपरेशन प्रॉपर्टीज देन यू हैव टू स्टार्ट सो दिस इज नाइट्रोबेंजीन Nitrobenzene reacts with Fe and HCl, iron and HCl. When it reacts with iron and hydrochloric acid, this is reducing agent. NO2 group is reduced to aniline. So A is aniline. This is NH2. And A reacts with sodium nitride and hydrochloric acid. It gives rise to what? Nitrous acid, HNO2. When aniline reacts with nitrous acid at 273 Kelvin, it forms benzene diazonium chloride. Reaction is called diazotization. So in this way, B is benzene diazonium chloride N2 plus Cl minus. And when this is heated with water H plus, so it forms phenol. So this is phenol. And phenol when treated with bromine water, aqueous bromine water, so it forms 246-tribromophenol. So this is OH, BR, BR and BR. So this is 246-tribromophenol. A is aniline, B is benzene diazonium chloride, C is phenol and D is 246-tribromophenol. Next move to question number 2. So this is benzene. Reacts with concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid. So this is called nitrating mixture. It undergo nitration. NO2 plus group is substituted here. Electrophilic substitution reaction. So it forms nitrobenzene. NO2. When it reacts with tin and HCl, this is again another reducing agent. It reduces NO2 NH2 group. Then B is aniline NH2 this is A this is V and this treated with again nitrous acid at 0 to 5 degrees Celsius that means it forms your benzene diazonium chloride by diazotization reaction and this treated with phenol at pH 9 to 10 this is coupling reaction so and dye is formed here so what is then this? This is para hydroxy azobenzene. Para hydroxy azobenzene. So this is D. Okay, this is an or this is an orange dye. Next come to question number three. So this is amide, benzamide. Benzamide when treated with bromine and KOH1, this is Hoffman bromamide reaction. CONH2 group is re reduced to NH2 group. So this one is A is aniline. Again NH2. This is again treated with NaNO2 HCl at 0 to 5 degrees Celsius. It gives nitrous acid at low temperature. It forms benzene diazonium chloride N2 plus Cl minus. This treated with hypophosphorus acid in presence of water and cuprous salt. So it forms benzene. So this group forms benzene. This is benzene. So this nitrogen is replaced by hydrogen. This diazonium group is replaced by hydrogen to form benzene and benzene when treated with methyl chloride in presence of aluminum chloride it undergo fiddle cut alkylation to form toluene 
so it forms toluene okay so a is aniline b is benzene diazonium chloride c is benzene and d is toluene next come to question number 4 so aniline reacts with acetic anhydride in presence of acetic acid so this is called acylation reaction in acylation reaction in hydrogen is replaced by an acetyl group so hydrogen of aniline generally primary and secondary amines give this test so one hydrogen and so it gives you acetyl anilide CO CH3 minus acetic acid is there. Okay, so this is aniline acetic reacts with acetyl chloride or acetic anhydride to form acetyl anilide. So it forms acetyl anilide. Then actually, whenever aniline reacts with bromine, actually it forms two four six tribromo aniline. But if this acylation reaction, then substitution reaction at one position either para position or ortho position but here para position is more for a major product than ortho position so um, then ortho isomer para isomer is more so in this way it reacts to bromine in presence of acetic acid to form para bromo acetyl anilide nh co ch3 and br This is para bromo acetyl anilide, and it again reacts with water H two O H plus hydrolysis. Again, hydrolysis takes place, so it gives rise to bromine plus C acetic acid. So this forms your para bromo aniline. So C is Para bromo aniline, B is para bromo acetyl anilide, and A is acetyl anilide. Next, come to question number five. So aniline reacts with bromine and water. So after acylation, it forms mono substitution product. But there is no acylation here. So in this way, aniline reacts with bromine water to form two, four, six tri bromo aniline. Here NH two Br bromine and bromine two, four, six tri bromo aniline. Then it reacts with nitrous acid. NaNO two plus HCl that is HCO nitrous acid when temperature is zero to five degrees Celsius. It NH two group is converted to benzene diazonium chloride and all other are same. That is two four six tribromo benzene diazonium chloride and when this is treated with HBF four. When this is treated with hydrofluoroboric acid, this treated with so this group is replaced by the Cl minus replaced by BF four first. So first it forms. Here I am writing. This is N two plus BF four minus. We are like this. So two four six tribromo benzene diazonium tetrafluoroborate. Two four six tribromo benzene diazonium tetrafluoroborate. This when heated minus nitrogen minus boron trifluoride it forms. 
bromine 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 fluorine that is 246 tribromofluorobenzene 246 tribromofluorobenzene next come to question number 6 So nitrobenzene reacts with H3 and HCl, reducing agent. So nitro group is reduced to NH2 group. So A is aniline. Then treated with sodium nitrate HCl at 0 to 5 degrees Celsius. Again diazotization reaction, NH2 group is converted to N2 plus Cl minus. That is benzene diazonium chloride is formed. N2 plus Cl minus. This again treated with copper cyanide in presence of potassium cyanide. So when it is treated with either copper cyanide, this is called Sandmeyer's reaction, benzene diazonium chloride treated with copper cyanide in presence of potassium cyanide to form cyanobenzene. Reaction is known as Sandmeyer's reaction, one part of Sandmeyer's reaction. And when it undergo hydrolysis in presence of acid, complete hydrolysis and it forms benzoic acid. In this way, aniline is nitrobenzene is converted to benzoic acid. So A is this one, B is benzene diazonium chloride, C is cyanobenzene and D is benzoic acid. Next come to question number 7. So nitrobenzene treated with bromine in presence of iron. So when nitrobenzene treated with bromine water forms two force. Sorry, when nitrobenzene treated with bromine in presence of iron, then it undergo electrophilic substitution reaction. And this nitrobenzene is meta directing group. In this shape, this bromination takes place at meta position. So. Suppose this is nitrobenzene when treated with bromine in presence of iron it forms meta bromo nitro or meta nitro bromobenzene and this when treated with tin and HCl again this nitro group is reduced to NH2 group it forms Meta bromo nitro aniline. And when this is treated with sodium nitrite in presence of hydrochloric acid at 273 to 278 Kelvin, it forms a next group which converted to benzene diazonium chloride. Meta position bromine is there. And when this is boiled with dilute H2SO4. So boiling with dilute sulfuric acid. That means H2O in presence of H+. plus. Then this group is converted to phenol group. This group is changed to phenol. So diazonium group is replaced by hydroxy group. This one. So this is metabromophenol. So A is metabromoaniline. B is metabromobenzene diazonium chloride. Sorry. A is metabromo. Sorry. A is this one metabromo nitrobenzene. Then this one A. This one metabromoaniline. Then C is metabromobenzene diazonium chloride and D is metabromophenol.
Now, next come to some other questions. So this is benzoic acid. It reacts with phosphorus pentachloride. It forms benzoyl chloride. COCl. Then this is treated with ammonia. So when this is treated with ammonia, Cl is replaced by NH2 group to form benzamide. So this is CO NH2. So amide then treated with bromine and sodium hydroxide. This is Hoffman bromamide reaction. So again it forms aniline. And aniline being a primary amine treated with chloroform in presence of potassium hydroxide and one, then it forms phenyl isocyanide. So A is benzoyl chloride, B is benzamide, C is aniline, D is phenyl isocyanide. Next come to question number 9. So aniline reacts with bromine and water. Aniline reacts with bromine and water. So it forms, you know, that is your, we have discussed previously. It forms 246-tribromoaniline. And when this is treated with sodium nitrate HCl 0 to 5 degrees Celsius, again diazotization reaction. So this group is, NH2 group is tends to benzene diazonium chloride. All other are same. Br, Br, Br here. And this is N2 plus Cl minus. And then when treated with hypophosphorus acid in presence of cuprous salt, then N2 plus Cl is replaced by hydrogen. So it forms bromine, bromine, bromine. 1, 3, 5, tribromo, benzene. So A, B and C. 1, 3, 5, tribromo, benzene. Next come to question number 10. So nitrobenzene reduced with tin and HCl. It gives aniline. So first product a is aniline. Then treated with chloroform and potassium hydroxide and heat. So this is isocyanide. In this way, it forms phenyl isocyanide. And phenyl isocyanide reduced with hydrogen in presence of platinum. It forms a secondary amine that is NHCH3. This is N methyl aniline. And when this is treated with Grignard's reagent, this is an active hydrogen, reacts with this methyl group to form methane. So this one is D methane. Next come to question number 11. So nitrobenzene reacts with the bromine in presence of iron. Again, it undergo electrophilic substitution reaction at meta position. So in this way, this is nitro group and this is bromine. And then this is treated with tin and hydrochloric acid. So it forms. Metabromo 
aniline and then this is treated with sodium nitrite here so it treated with hcl at 0 degree celsius the azotization reaction it forms benzene diazonium chloride and bromine is also there and when this is treated with water so in presence of acid n2 plus cl minus replaced by high oh so this one is the product so this is metabromophenol next come to question number 12 So aniline reacts with sodium nitrite at 0 to 5 degrees Celsius HCl. This is diazotization reaction and it forms benzene diazonium chloride. That is N2 plus Cl minus. And this is 1. When this is 1, it forms phenol. So phenol when treated with chloroform CHCl3 in presence of alkali. So it forms, it undergo rimotimin reaction to form orthohydroxybenzaldehyde and parahydroxybenzaldehyde. So C and D are OH CHO and OH CHO okay ortho so this is C this is D this is B and this is A this is question number 12 next come to question number 13 So nitrobenzene, this is metadinitrobenzene and metadinitrobenzene reacts with ammonium disulfide. When metadinitrobenzene reacts with ammonium disulfide, it undergoes selective reduction reaction. The two of the nitro group does not reduce here, only one group undergoes reduction and one group remains as such. In this way it forms one group is reduced and another group remains as such. So this is from your metanitroaniline and then this is treated with A is this one and then this is treated with sodium nitrite NaNO2 HCl at 0 degree Celsius. Then again this group is converted to diazonium group so this is n2 plus <coughs> cl minus okay and then this is treated with cuprous chloride in presence of hcl this is again one type of sandmeyer reaction this group remains as such and this group replaced by chlorine this is metanitrochlorobenzene and when this is reduced with tin and hydrochloric acid, it forms NO2 group, now reduced to NH2. So, metaaminochlorobenzene or metachloroaniline. It forms metachloroaniline. Next, come to question number 14. So this is benzamide, reacts with phosphorus pentoxide. 
So when benzamide reacts with phosphorus pentoxide, so when this is treated with P treated with phosphorus pentoxide minus water is there. This acts as a dehydrating agent and it forms cyanobenzene or benzonitrile. It forms cyanobenzene. And cyanobenzene when treated with water, that means undergo hydrolysis, it forms benzoic acid. And benzoic acid when treated with um, thionyl chloride, it forms benzoyl chloride. And benzoyl chloride when treated with palladium, barium sulfate in xylene, it undergo rosenmond reduction to form benzyl dehyde okay there are another two questions i am writing here and we will discuss That is benzamide. Sorry, there is another one question only. That is benzoic acid reacts with bromine and FeBr3 give rise to a give rise to B, ammonia give rise to C, then Br2 KOH give rise to D. Okay, so when the COH group treated with bromine and PBr3, what happens? So COH group is meta directing group. At meta position, bromine is there. And when this is treated with SOCl2, thionyl chloride, what will form? It will form meta bromo benzoyl chloride. And when this is treated with ammonia, what will form? It will form metabromobenzamide. And metabromobenzamide, when treated with bromine, potassium hydroxide, and then one, what it form? It undergo Hoffman bromamide reaction. CONH2 group is converted to NH2 group. And bromine is there. Metabromo anilin. So A is metabromo benzoic acid, metabromo benzoyl chloride, metabromo benzamide, and D is metabromo anilin. So for today, up to this, then we will discuss some conversions.